Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, your host on Click Digest, and I have got three phones, each of them priced exactly same at four triple nine. This is the Ficom Energy six fifty three. This is the U Unique, and this is the Lenovo A twenty ten. All three are four G phones. All three are at four triple nine, and they claim to be the best affordable four G smartphones in India. Let's compare them against each other and find out which is best among these three. Let's get started. I'll start with the design of the phone and among these three phones they all have different physical size. The display on the Ficom Energy 653 which is on the extreme left here is a 5 inch display whereas on the U Unique it gets a 4.7 inch display panel and on the Lenovo A2010 you get a 4.5 inch display. All three display sizes are different which make the physical size of the phones different and the design from the rear is very easily identifiable this is a typical lenovo style a u style with signature uh, circular metal ring and this is the fecom which is very glossy at the back they all look good in their own right but if i have to pick one i would probably pick this one it looks much more premium with these silver color buttons and soft touch rounded corner backs and this metal ring which makes it look premium uh, closely followed by Ficom which has this glossy white back white buttons on the side and uh, it overall looks nice and premium with the glossy finish all around uh, in terms of weight they are nearby in terms of uh, weight whereas the Ficom seems to be among the uh, lightest one when it comes to weight but in dimensions it is the largest and they all come with thin bezels however uh, the A2010 has thicker bezels among these three phones next i'll talk about display quality so let me play back a video on all three phones which is the same video and show you how good it looks on each of these screens this with the largest screen is the Ficom this is the U and this is the Lenovo let's play this video Hey guys, I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Digest, and here are the reasons why you should subscribe right now. Right now, 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 among these three and this one is kind of uh, behind and the display resolution here on the Lenovo phone is also much lower at 480 by 800 pixels compared to the 720p high definition display that you get on the other two phones considering that they are at the same price the display of uh, these two phones really appeals much better to me compared to the Lenovo A2010 so in terms of display I'll call it a tie between the U and the Ficom Energy whereas Lenovo A2010 is visibly behind. To give you a fair idea of the loudness of speakerphone of each of these phones, I am playing same track at full volume and you decide which one is the loudest. This is Ficom Energy which has a lot of uh, treble, does not have bass or depth of sound. This is uh, the U Unique. The volume is maximum, let me play this. This one has better mid end as well as uh, lower bass as well. So sounds better compared to the other phone. This is also fairly loud and has higher treble. If I have to rate them uh, now 1 to 3 based on the quality of audio, I'll rate U Unique as number 1, the Lenovo A2010 on number 2 and Ficom Energy uh, 653 at number 3 because the audio quality is the best on U followed by Lenovo and then followed by Uni. After audio and video, let me compare cameras on these three phones and before starting this video, I took some pictures with this phone exactly same pictures with three phones with same angles and I'm just gonna show you the results I also took pictures with the front as well as the rear facing camera so here are the results for you and I'm just gonna show you some of these pictures this is the first picture that is taken with the rear facing camera and you can see that uh, the detailing of picture as well as clarity and the background uh, defocus effect and sharpness of the image uh, is vastly different on these three phones the bottom one with the largest screen is the Ficom Energy 653 and it captures moderate amount of detailing 
and when you zoom in closer you start to lose detailing uh, as you go closer compared to this is the U unique which has slightly better details and color richness as you can observe here and this is the Lenovo A2010 which in my opinion is uh, least uh, on detailing so this one has a 5 megapixel rear shooter while the other two phones get 8 megapixel rear shooters so this uh, difference was almost evident and the quality of uh, rear facing cameras in my opinion is the best on U unique followed by the Ficom Energy then followed by Lenovo A2010 and this is another shot that I took uh, with the front facing camera on U unique you get a 2 megapixel on Ficom you also get a 2 megapixel and on Lenovo A2000 you also get a 2 megapixel sensor but there is a difference in the field of view you can see that there is a wide angle lens used on U unique compared to the other two phones which do not use a wide angle lens and hence they are capturing less information from same distance and the quality of output on these images is also vastly different this one looks slightly grainy and pixelated whereas this one looks fine and well detailed compared to the third image which looks uh, not only dull but also uh, very low on detailing so in this department as well I'll say U unique is the best when it comes to front facing camera among these three phones talking of specs and performance these phones also are very different from each other the FICOM energy here uses a snapdragon 210 chipset which is a 1.1 gigahertz quad core cpu it runs with 1 gb of ram and 8 gb internal memory the cpu on use here is actually a 32 bit cpu and performance level on Antutu is close to 17,000 with a score of 16,800. On the U Unique, we get a score of around 18,000, 17,945 to be precise. It uses a superior chipset which is Qualcomm Snapdragon 410, which is used on much better phones compared uh, to what we have on these phones. And also in higher price segment, you find this uh, processor. It is a 64-bit uh, CPU, comes with 1GB of RAM and 8GB internal memory. The RAM and ROM is almost identical on all three phones with 8GB internal memory and 1GB of RAM. The CPU on use on Lenovo A2010 is 1.1GHz uh, quad-core CPU by MediaTek and it scores higher compared to other two phones probably because the display resolution is lower so graphics have to do less efforts and it gets better scores close to 20,000 which is slightly higher than the uh, U unique and considerably higher compared to uh, what you get on the Ficom Energy and this one is uh, part with a MediaTek 6735M processor this is also a 64-bit uh, processor comes with 1GB of RAM and 8GB internal memory. None of these phones are meant for heavy gaming but if you are looking for absolute performance uh, you probably can spend some more and get a phone with 2GB of RAM but if you are restricted to 5000 rupees budget and have to pick uh, one among these three in my personal opinion Snapdragon 410 performs better compared to other two processors however numbers may look higher here but the display here is not up to the mark so if you are looking for moderate level of gaming you can pick U unique and play some games but it will not play very heavy games easily because it's not loaded for those games talking about some important features like the LED notification USB OTG pen drive support and ability to move apps to SD card only U unique among these three supports USB OTG so if you are looking for OTG functionality U unique is your choice it also comes with LED notification which other two phones do not and all three phones are capable of moving apps to SD card so moving apps to SD card should not be a problem on either of these but in overall functionality perspective performance perspective U unique seems to be better off compared to other two phones talking of software performance and user interface they are again very very different from each other the Lenovo A2010 uses YUI the U unique here uses close to stock Android with slight customizations and the Ficom Energy uses custom uh, set of icons and is slightly customized over the Android Lollipop. All three run Android Lollipop underneath so the underlying software is almost the same and on top of it there are customizations which are heaviest on uh, the Lenovo A2010 followed by the Ficom Energy uh, 653 and followed by U Unique, which is very close to stock Android if you are looking at 
the level of customization in these three phones so if you are someone who prefer uh, close to stock android i would recommend you to go with u unique uh, which is very close to the stock interface that you would find on google nexus level of phones lastly let's talk about battery there is a 2000 milliamp battery on the u unique as well as the lenovo a2010 whereas there is a larger 2300 milliamp battery that you would find on Ficom which is larger compared to the other two phones uh, but what it means in real life uh, may not actually translate to that big a difference because the other two phones have smaller displays and have different chipsets so the power consumption patterns are different in my opinion the Lenovo A2010 is probably going to give you the best battery life because YBUI is best optimized for battery while the other two phones will be very close in terms of battery because a larger display will consume more battery so it will offset the extra 300 milliamp battery that you are getting on the Ficom compared to U-Unique so in my opinion if I have to rate on battery life uh, it's the Lenovo A2010 with lower resolution less power followed by U-Unique followed by uh, the Ficom Energy which comes very close to the U-Unique and if battery life is your concern you can pick uh, either of them they will be very close in terms of battery performance to sum it up i'll say if i have to pick one among these three i would definitely pick u unique for a superior design better camera performance better audio performance good display quality good overall features features like usb otg pen drive support the LED notifications and the smoothness of interface and using a superior chipset. So it's an all round winner compared to the other two phones. On number two, I'll rate Ficom Energy 653, which comes close, but not as close uh, to the U unique. And the last on our list will be Lenovo A2010. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope we helped you make up your mind among these three phones. If you want to pick up either of these, I'm leaving direct links in the description section below. Please buy it from our link, it helps the channel. This is all we have on this video. If you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And make sure you stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button and get the latest video updates and comparisons from Intellect Digest. I hope to see you on my next video. This is your host Rohit Purana signing off. Thanks for watching.